um guys when you come here this is how the puzzle lab interface looks like that is when you open it for the first time after successfully downloading it this is how the interface looks like now um we have some of the tools that are at the upper part here and then we have other tools that are also at the downside here right uh, we have some tools under here right and then this place is what we call our working space this is where everything is going to um appear you get me so that is our working space so we are going to consider the tools below here and then we are going to consider the tools above here now um let's get into it before we start please uh kindly click on the subscribe button and then turn on your notification bell to be notified whenever we drop amazing contents like this right let's get into it now first of all we are going to check this here uh, that is where we call this particular button we call it the template icon you get me we call it the template icon right so now with the template icon it contains templates you get me? when i say templates uh, background templates where you can edit any of them at any time you want you can use any of them right so that's why we call that button uh the templates button so take note of that now with the template button it contains what we call the um my projects icon here and this is my project icon or folder here it's uh it is a folder that contains all your previous designs you've made so whatever design you've made on puzzle lab and you save it is going to come here as my project now um you might not see this my projects um folder here when you come in uh, as a newbie when you download the app because you have not um, designed anything yet so maybe it might not be there uh, but when you keep designing and saving your projects you'll be seeing them at uh, my projects right now the next thing we have here we call it um, the letter editor the letter editor it could when you come to the letter editor that is where you're going to um, do anything related to text this is where you do the editing the one with the capital A so this is where we do all the editing when it comes to text. So when you click on add a text, uh, this plus sign, you can add a text. So you see it here, right? So when you click on this code here, they have, the app is having inbuilt codes here. When um, you need them, you can use motivational codes. You can use them at any time, right? Now, um, when you add the text, when you want to edit the text, unless the text becomes active. And by the text being active is when you click on it and you see this particular border around it, which means that the text is active. When it is active, you can find other um, editing features here or editing tools which you can use to edit the text. Are you okay? So first of all, you can click on the edit here to write any particular text at all you like. So graphic designing. Um, let's say I'm to write graphic designing. So this is a text. Are we okay? Uh, and then the text you can either click on this delete to cancel it. Are you okay? You can click on delete to cancel it. You can click on copy to get it um, copied twice. Are we okay? So that is uh, basically what this copy is. We have in front and to back. We have position tools. Uh, you can position it anyway by using this buttons here. We have uh, other editing here. Increasing of size uh, and reducing of size. We have changing of color here you can change the color of the text this way at this section right and we have texture you can give the text a texture color and then we have opacity you can reduce and increase the opacity at this area we have rotation you get me you have rotation here we have fonts the app is having inbuilt fonts so you can select any font uh, you like at any time then you use it so when you come to the font area, you can see we have fonts here. You can select any of them and then you use it for the um, text. For the text. Now we also have um, bold. The style, the styles here, we have bold, italic, we have underlined. So any of them at all you need, you can um, use it yeah, from this section. Then we have curving, we have background. All this is here. Right. Um, I don't really actually want to waste... Uh, my time on this introductory video uh, on the subsequent videos we are going to learn how to um, use all the buttons right now the next button we have here we call it the character editor or the shape editor now when you come to that section 
when you come to that section we have stickers so the app is having inbuilt stickers there you can see it from this section so you can use any of them we have imports now when you click on imports it is going to send you to your gallery to bring in any particular um image at all you want so when you want to add an image you click on import when you click on import uh, you can add any uh, resource at all you want to add or any image at all you want to add to the designing um, page are you okay so that is, is it for this one you can see it at this section yeah so when you come here we have what we call the draw here's draw you can draw anything those of you who really likes um drawing you can draw anything using this particular draw tool um at any time at all you want to um, use it so that is what the draw tool is for right uh we have uh the next thing here is what we call the shapes now with the shapes we have shapes here you can add uh, a square then you can regulate it to the size of a line a rectangle whatever you want now but then if you want other um, shapes instead you can click on this arrow here and by clicking on the arrow it takes you to your um, to other um, shapes here you get me so you can select any shape at all you want from this section so when I want a circle this is the circle right so when you come to this area we call it the desire tool this one is a bit technical, so we are not going to um, talk about it. But as we progress in the course, we are going to learn how to use the desire to to design um, your flyers, right? And then we also have arrows at this section. The app is having arrows here. You can choose any arrow at all you want from this section. Yeah. So that is uh, uh, basically what the arrows contain, and then. So that is it. Now, just as we said for the text, a, sh uh, a character or a shape can only be edited only if it is active. So when you click on it like this, it becomes active. You get me? So at this section, you can see the editing features here. You can delete, you can crop, you can copy and all that. You can change color here. You see, I'm changing the color of this. Right. We have filters, opacity, stroke. You can give this a stroke. Um... If you like you can erase that. so all this so just like I mentioned for the text uh, the same thing applies to every um, shape you can only edit it if it is active and I'm saying that to make the text or uh, sorry to make the ship active but just click on it and then it will be active you see all the editing uh, features here right now we have uh, now you can see we have the next thing here we have here we call it the background editor so when you come to that section you can do editings to the background are you getting me to the background so you can do editings there so you can change the color of the background here you see it you can change the color of the background here to any color at all um, you want to use you can change the color here you see it from this section you can change the color here to any color at all you want to use right so that is what this section means then we have transparency you can make the background transparent like you can see here uh -huh. so you can make it transparent at that area then we have image size now image size is used to determine the um the resolutions of the flyer you are designing now you have to know that the um the size of a of a picture or an image that you use for your back um, your whatsapp profile it's not having this it is not having the same resolution as the size of uh, a picture or image you are using for your wallpaper your phone wallpaper so resolutions here they differ so when you click on this is the custom size this is a square you get me so when you click on this arrow here you can find other sizes here we have pictures we have a square shape that's a youtube thumbnail uh, thumbnail this is a youtube channel banner uh, Facebook cover art and all that you get me so they all have their sizes so when you want to design um, for a Facebook cover art you can just come here then you change it at this area yeah so that is how this also works then we have um, image the app is having inbuilt images when you want to change your background uh, color to any color you like here 
or you want to use any image from this section you can come and use it at this particular section right so that is what this is also about right uh, let's continue we have this from gallery let's say you want to use any image from your gallery um, as your background you can use from this section and then we have the camera too at this section right now the next thing we have here we call it the background effector at this area we call it the background effector and with the background effector it is used to add effects or um, to do editing on the background I get it yeah so we have rotation this way you can see how it is rotating so we have rotation at this section we have vignette this is like a black cover around the design um, vignette so you can use that one too if you like that then we have noise adding noise to the background like this you see that and then we also have um, strips you can add strips you can check the contrast the hue the saturation and all that at this particular area you can do that here right and then um, so that is that for all the tools below here starting from the templates uh, button to the text icon we have uh, the character editor we have the background editor and then the background effector so that is that for that at the bottom side now let's consider those at the top part here now uh, we have the first thing I would like to talk about is this the plus sign here now the plus sign you can uh, when you click on it you can add uh, a text you can add current date you can add sticker shapes from gallery then draw um, this one is acting as uh, it is having features of the text editor and then the uh, character or the shape editor you see it so that is it for the plus sign then we have the save button now this save button here you are seeing this at the top here now the save button when you click on it you see that we have save as a project and then save as an image now when you save uh, something as a project it's being stored at this section here you get it my projects so when you click when you save something as a, a project it is being st stored here now when you click at this place you see projects uh, my design projects I've done some time ago so when you uh, click on save as a project it, it comes here now when you click on save as an image when you click on save as an image it goes directly to your um, gallery your phone gallery you get me so when you want to save your designs you can always save as a project and you save it as an uh, image too so that is the function of the save as button now we also have the share button we all know about it then we have this particular one here it's quotes and the same quotes i show you earlier on the app is having inbuilt quotes that is that for that section then we also have this here when you click on it this way we have use image from gallery full screen use image from camera all this here um that is it right um the next thing here we call it the undo button the, unfortunately this particular app is having only the undo it is not having the redo so when you click on it uh maybe let's say something has been done and then you want to undo it just click on that button for instance let's say this shape um i don't know where the circular shape went to so i can just click on the undo button like this and then you see that the shape will be back here right now the next thing here we call it the zoom in and zoom out button so by clicking on it you can zoom in up to 500 percent um let's say when dealing with smaller um objects or maybe smaller text or whatever you can always zoom in and um, zoom out right and then we have this we call it the grid lines the grid lines this is used to check alignment you get me uh, whenever you are designing something you want your um your text or your shapes or your elements to be in line you can use the um this to always check that out right then we also have this year very very important that is one of the important tools we will always be using or the icon we always use severally now we click on it this way this is what you are going to see now we call this particular thing we call it the layer panel again we call it the layer panel it shows you the arrangement of the elements that you you have uploaded to your designing or your workspace are you okay so when you click on it this is what you are going to see 
we have this 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 so this is showing you the elements that are on this working space and then they are being arranged that's what i want you to know now you can see that this was the first thing that was on the screen uh you can see it is at the back so this one was there first then this one was kept in on top of it then this one came on top of it before this came on top of it before this came on top of it that's why you can see that now look at something clearly you can see that this arrow can is on top of all of them is because it's at the top section you see it is because it's on top it gave me so it's on top of all of this i hope you understand it's because it's on top of all of them now you can see that this particular square tool is on top of the uh the the lady and then the drawing as well is because the circle is also on top of all of them as you can see at this particular area you can see it there so that is how it is it is showing you the arrangement how um it is being arranged and then this is what was kept first you start from this area then you came here then you came here then you came here then to this so that is why it is showing at that uh that way now let's say i want i want this uh lady's picture to be in front i get it i want it to be in front now we have two ways of doing it now when you come to the character editor this section we have what we call the to front here you can just click on the to front and then it will be in front of everything you get me so when you check at the layer panel you see that it is found on top this place are we okay so that is one way of getting thing in front now let's say we also have another way by clicking on this particular dots you can see there are dots attached to every layer you can click and hold on the dots like let's say i'm to hold on this text then i pull it to the top like this and then you can see that it is on top here can we see it here yes so that is um that is it for um bringing um elements in front now another thing is that we have the lock button the lock you can see lock here when you click on the lock meaning that particular um that particular element will stop moving now let's say i'm to lock this lady you can see that uh when i click on it again it is not moving except those at the back or in front of it that are moving but the lady uh, has stopped moving because i've locked it now it is good to always lock your design uh, your element so that you will not be distracted while you are designing right so that is it and then when you click on this we have um we have editing tools here that you can always edit um, anything at all you want here from the elements so that is basically the few things i want us to talk about uh, on this introductory video uh, as we continue in the course we are going to learn more on how to create amazing designs with just our smartphone please um, this video was brought to you by dewpoint and sponsored by dewpoint graphic academy kindly do well to click on the subscribe button and turn on the notification button to be notified whenever we drop amazing content like this thank you very much for watching see you in the next video